I'm a student of Oakland University as well. For me, life in digital marketing started about a year ago when I realized that after studying marketing for four years at Oakland University, I realized that I knew nothing about digital marketing. <laughs> <laughs> and I was determined to change that. So I took matters in my own hands and I started doing research and I learned about Code Academy. I started teaching myself some coding and then I did some more research and found Moz and SEO Beginner's Guide with them. And then by the time I met Doug at the Live Work Detroit event, I was prepared to tell him that digital marketing would be where I would be. I might have even told him that it was my destiny to get into digital marketing. <laughs> <laughs> it's my destiny. So, so that led to a successful interview, successful interview getting me here at CDK. Now coming in, I expect to learn a lot about digital marketing. And I, I wanted to learn where SEO fit within that digital marketing spectrum. And it's safe to say that after two months, those expectations have been exceeded. While here, I discovered that <coughs> there is a relationship between dealerships, dealer organizations and groups, and original equipment manufacturers, or OEMs. And I also found that CDK is a unique placement amongst all three, and that we tend to tie them together. Uh, for example, let's say an OEM wants to get out the message that it's truck month. And we're, we're the ones that send out that message on the, on the websites for the dealerships, dealer groups, and things like that. So I also discovered that SEO is a wonderful combination of analytics and web design. And we use that to create a better user experience. We also use SEO best practices to, to get the website out there and to have a, a dealer or have a, the search engines take notice and realize that it's a more competitive website and thus breaking it higher. I also discovered the difference between the good, the bad, and the ugly when it, comes to <laughs> when it comes to web page design. So you look at the good, and you see that this website's good, and it's not just because I was the one that wrote the content or designed <laughs> it, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's true, but it, that's not why it's good. <laughs> it's good because it has limited and precise use of white space. And that white space allows a person to come in here and discover the content that they're really looking for. It also is designed with the consumer in mind. And like all other good websites, it's designed with this Z pattern in mind. And that Z pattern is the same pattern their eyes take when we're reading a book. But best of all, is that this web page is optimized. So that means that it's, it's, when someone's searching for an environmentally friendly car, this web page is more likely to come up higher than the others. But now let's look at the bad. So this website is bad because it's showing us a 500 status code error, and that means it's a server error. And that error is telling us that anyone looking for this web page, they can't find it. Search engines aren't crawling it, no one's looking at this, it's essentially invisible but you don't have to worry, this isn't one of our websites, this is just an example page that I found. <laughs> now for the ugly. Oof. <laughs> so, you take Hopefully a look. that's not what I want to do. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, looking at this, it's almost obviously ugly, and you're, it's incredibly busy, a lot of things, if you saw this live, like, things are flashing, things are moving, like, you don't know if you're gonna get a virus suddenly. There's a random chicken in the middle of the screen. Like, what is going on with this website? It's just, like, way too busy. So you look at it, and then when you have to, when you're forcing your users to take a step back and, like, reassess what this web page is about, like, are they selling advertising or are they leasing you cars? When you have to take that step back, you have to reassess what you're trying to do, what you're trying to do with this, uh, with this website. But, the most important thing that I've learned here is that it's how corporate culture can be done right. And for me, I felt like I was part of a team. I felt like the SEO team really brought me in and was really enabled, was willing and able to share with me what they've learned. And, and they wanted to see me become a success story. And it wasn't just me they were like that for, it's with everyone. And when, when you see that as part of the company, you see that part of the culture of the company, it really sets the bar. And for me, my bar has been raised for any other corporate culture I encounter in my life. So, now that I'm heading back to my university pretty soon, 
I'm reminded of a quote from the 2013 Business to Business Leaders Report. And that quote says, 79% of business leaders polled in the 2013 Business to Business Leaders Report say that there are noticeable skills, gap on their team, skills gaps on their teams, primarily in data, customer insight, and digital marketing techniques. Now you think about those three things, the data, customer insight, and digital marketing techniques. Combine those together, and that sounds a lot like SEO. It sounds like that these business leaders are looking for people with skills in SEO. So what I want to do is I want to bring my knowledge I've learned here back to my school. I want to talk to the student groups, talk to the American Marketing Association group that's on campus, and convince them to open up workshops in analytics and web design. Because nowadays, marketing is not just analytics or it's about creative. It's this mixture of both. And like we have to now be more we have to be now skilled in both areas. We have to be, be able to do the analytics and do the web design and combine them together in order to be successful. And what I would really like to do is bring people from CDK to my school and have them speak at, at these workshops or at uh, lecture events and share with these students that the world is different now. And that when you do that, when you bring these people from Detroit and up until Oakland, it shows them that there's job opportunities available. And that's huge for someone graduating high school or graduating college and or starting to get through college and they're thinking about leaving Michigan. So currently, I'm actually applying the SEO knowledge I've gained here. And I'm doing that by helping out the only independent movie theater in Detroit. They're called Cinema Detroit. I'm helping them out with the complicated issues they're having with their Google Plus page. And allowing me to do that, them allowing me to do that, has really showed that the skills I've developed here are really useful. And like, I'm able to actually help out the businesses and organizations I care for. But moving forward, I would like to brand myself better online. And I would like to build a website that can showcase the skills that I've developed here and in other places. And I, I really want to show show those skills and be able to test any SEO theories that I might have coming up. So the work that I've completed here these last two months really put me on the right track for success in digital marketing. And as you see with this graph here, I've completed a fair amount of work. <laughs> and uh, this is just the work that I've completed for the SEO team. But I wanted to touch base on what I was most proud of, which is the content I wrote for the the eco-friendly car landing pages. And that content started with keyword research. It started with researching the right terms and, and then finding how often those were being searched for and how much volume they were getting. And then implementing that into the content I was writing. And as you can see now, there's six accounts that that, that content I wrote is being used on. And apparently it can be used on thousands of accounts. So to me, that tells me that the work that I've done here has been substantial. And it tells me that even though I'm about to head out of here, the work I've completed here will still be used by specialists for, for some time. But overall, the experience here has been fantastic. I, I've, I've loved working here, I've loved learning, and I feel like I've learned more here than I could have anywhere else. And even though I've been here for two full months and I feel like I've learned so much, I feel like Thanks to the experience that the SEO team has here, I can learn so much more from them. And I just wanted to say that thank you for the opportunity to be here, and I'm, I'm very happy to, have said, to be able to say that I've worked for CDK.